Hey everybody, it's Evan here for another Method Quickie number two. This is Maxwell Grass in Form Z, and I wanted to quickly show you how to get set up using Maxwell Grass inside the Form Z host application. So I'm going to just get you uh, some knowledge on how to apply the grass to a surface, and then you can feel free to play around with the different settings, and maybe we'll do some other quickies in the future here to, to get that going. Um, real quick, I wanted to show you here on the Maxwell site there is, and I'll put the link here below the video, that shows some different examples to get you set up. And they have a couple of materials that you can download and put in your Maxwell materials folder. And then they have different grass type um, preset, which just, they're not presets that you download, but they're actually settings that you input into the interface, which I'll show you in a minute, for different um, types of lengths and densities of grass. And so that's a really great um, resource to just kind of learn what you can do with Maxwell Grass. Let's jump into Form Z and actually create a quick little study here. So I'm going to use a, a, a just a square polygon. You want to try to stick to surfaces when you're doing grass, um, but if you think about grass beyond just grass, if you wanted to do fur or something like that, you might, you might want to apply it to a, a more volumetric type of a mesh. Um, but in this case, I'm just going to use flat polygons. And, and when you're learning how to do uh, Maxwell Grass, I would just recommend playing around in a blank file and applying it here. Um, one of the cool things about Maxwell Grass is that it actually um, is not ever, it never models the blades, right? So the modeling environment stays really snappy. Uh, you never have to worry about all that extra geometry in the scene because it only applies it at render time. And so it's instancing those blades and it's doing some variations and randomization on those. And it really creates a cool look um, but without ever slowing down the modeling process. So once you've got a polygon here, let's go ahead and just add a material. And I'm going to go ahead and apply just a base grass material to this inside um, Form Z. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. This is just for the base polygon, because um, I want to use one of those. Um, I want to use one of those downloadable materials for the actual grass itself. So I'll just paint that polygon with that texture, and then what you want to do is select the polygon, go to the attributes tab here in the tool options, and under the basic pull down menu here, you want to choose Maxwell attributes. And this brings up the attributes, and it, this is per polygon or per object inside of Form Z. All right, so the first thing you're going to do once you open up the attributes is you're going to click the Edit button here, and you're going to create a, um, an instance in the, a, a grass definition. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open one of my um, presets that I downloaded. Um, and saved prior. So if you come up with settings that you like, you can save them here. I'm going to go ahead and open up library saved on my Dropbox so I can get to it from any computer. And when I load this short, short fast lawn in, um, you'll see here that it's got all these settings pre-populated. And this is one that, that I came up with and tweaked, and, and we'll talk a little bit about this. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was, um, like I said before, reference an MXM material. You want to make sure that you load that material in Otherwise, you'll never see it. Um, it'll just render your grass as gray, which is probably not what you want. So in there, I, I want to use their, um, the one that I downloaded from that same site that we just looked at. And so you want to make sure you see this path inside the, the material. You can also use the parent objects material or a separate material from Form Z if you don't want the base polygon and the grass blades to each have their own texture. So primitive, real quick, just run through a couple things. Flat primitives are the most uh, time-saving primitive to use. The other ones have more geometry to them, so it's going to render slower. You can also choose the density, which is blades per square foot. You can plug in a texture map here so that you can have clumps of grass uh, on your polygon just using a black and white image map that you could paint up in Photoshop. So if you know you want tall grasses intermingled, with short grasses. You can do that. You can apply multiple grass definitions to the same um, polygon too. So you can have short blades on the polygon as well as tall random grasses. Um, that's pretty cool. So all of these settings are the ones that showed up on back over there on that uh, next limit site and they, that's what these parameters are over here on the right hand side. And you can plug all those in and tweak them and you can do different you know angles and bends and 
how how random they look. The other cool thing down here at the bottom that you're probably going to want to use is this level of detail. And the further that the grass is away from the camera point of view, it, it'll actually render or create less grass blades, which will save you a ton of render time as well. So that's definitely something I would recommend using. So once you've got your, your short, fast lawn um, set up here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say OK. And now we're going to click the plus button and we're going to choose that from the list and we're going to hit OK. And if I did everything right, I'm going to go ahead and open up Maxwell Fire here. And one thing you want to do is click the gear icon and make sure that display grass is turned on there. Um, this is a cool little thing where you don't, maybe if you're using Maxwell Fire when you're setting up materials, you don't necessarily always want to see the grass because there is a big hit on the rendering in Maxwell Fire. So turn that on and off as necessary. And uh, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to check the firebox and pull this down. And you can see right now it's doing the voxelization, which is that's it's populating the polygon with all the blades. And I'll zoom in here so we can actually see what these blades are going to look like. And you can see that my fire is actually showing me those. I'll get in a little closer and you can actually see those blades pop up. And that's it. That's how you apply uh, grass to a polygon inside of Form Z using Maxwell Grass. Now, if I turn that off and go back into the attributes, you'll see here that you can add multiple geometry modifiers, like I said a minute ago, to that polygon. So if you wanted to load up another tall random grass in the editor, which is in here, you can make another one you could then add it to the same polygon and have multiple instances on the same polygon. All right, So that's it for how you apply grass to a polygon in Form Z. I hope you like it, and we'll see you on the next MethodCast Quickie. Bye. <laughs>